Hello guys, welcome back to Elden Build. I'm Martin and today I'll be featuring my Dragon Cult Lord of Lightning build, so let's get right into it. Starting off with stats, of course, I'm going for 55 Vigor, 25 Mind and 79 Fate. Unfortunately, I'm a Vrech class, so I cannot cap my Fate. However, ideally you would want to roll a Prophet and go for 80 Fate and 55 Vigor and everything else should be damped into Mind. So, that being said, for our weapons we are of course using Gravelstone Seal to increase our Dragon Cult Incants. And for our offhand weapon we are using Azur's Glintstone Stuff that's gonna increase our cast speed. As for armor, everything I'm using is just for fashion, however, ideally you would either want to wear a head that increases your mind or fate. As for talismans, I'm running two finger heirloom, that's gonna increase my fate by five. Radagon icon to hit that max cast speed. Flock canvas talisman, that's gonna increase our damage of our incantations by eight percent. And as for last talisman, I'm switching between these five and this one. So these are all the defensive talismans, uh, I think that the one for robustness is gonna be of most help alongside Dragon Crest Great Shield and Spell Drake Talisman. I'm using Bold Drake Talisman against people who just want to spam Hone Bolt and don't know anything else. It's kind of hard to deal with them uh, if you're if there is a bit of latency, it can be hard to to deal damage with them without actually trading. And Hone Bolt is gonna do a lot of damage. But I'm gonna explain later how, how to deal with these people. Uh, so, that being said, let us get right into our spells and combos. So, you're gonna have two bait combos. One is gonna be ranged and one is gonna be melee. So first you will you will want to go for your range bait combo you're gonna throw bestial slings to break your enemy's poise if they are near if not you will want to use bestial sling home bolt combo which at this point everyone knows how to dodge well everyone who plays this game regularly uh, so what you want to do is Throw a bestial sling and the hone bolt to make them roll. Then you will want to unlock your camera and follow up with a lightning strike in the di direction you think they are gonna roll. So what you are essentially trying to do is roll catch them with the lightning strike. It's gonna do amazing damage between 6 and 800. So it's well worth practicing for this combo. Lightning Spear is gonna be our main ranged tool, uh, you're gonna use it to, to deal with people spamming Hone Bolts or Lightning Bolts, Thunder Bolts, I don't know how exactly is the weapon art or the Ashes of War called, but yeah, that's gonna be our tool to deal with them and with other mages or casters that just like spamming spells in, in a place. Wrath of Gold is gonna be one of your main spells. Uh, after you throw all your ranged stuff on your enemies, and there's plenty of it, if your enemy is melee, they're gonna come after you, they're gonna chase you, and that's when you're gonna just use Wrath of Gold. Either instant cast or delayed cast to, to try and roll catch them and, or to fuck with their minds. But it's gonna hit a lot, it's gonna hit hard, it's gonna hit for around 900 damage. You'll get hit so often with, with a bit of latency, it's extremely hard to dodge Breath of Gold. However, good players who have been playing previous Dark Souls games and Demon Souls are pretty good at dodging these spells as it appeared in uh, literally every game up, up until now. Not sure for the Bloodborne, but yeah, it's one of the staple sp spells of the franchise. Still good, but a lot of people know about it. 
However, I still think that it's one of the best incantations in the whole game. Its base damage is so huge because it doesn't get boosted by any specific talismans. Its base damage is so huge that you can use it on every build and its utility like this hitbox hits everything around you so you do not have to aim you can literally turn your back to to your opponent and hit them with a breath of gold and sometimes they won't even know what you're casting or they won't even see it due to latency so our next our next bait combo which is not really a combo is gonna be lance access glaive and 40 sucks lightning spear so lance access glaive just got buffed but it's still one of the worst spells in the game it's so easy to dodge uh, opponents can just roll into you and you won't hit anything you're probably just gonna get punished however due to this being such a bad spell and having very similar startup animation as 40 sucks lightning spear you will want to use Lance Access Glaive to, to essentially bait your enemies into, into attacking you, and then you're going to trade with 40 Success Lightning Spear. So 40 Success Lightning Spear has enough hyper armor to tank through a colossal hit. Uh, I also managed to tank, tank through a jumping halberd attack. So, jumping heavy halberd attack, so it's really, really strong. Um, that's about it. You're essentially, most of the time, gonna either one-shot people with 40 sucks lightning spear, kill them before they even arrive to you with home bolt, lightning strike, and lightning spear, or just spam them to death with wrath of gold. And of course, I do not have to mention we are using Black Flames Protection against Melee, Barrier of Gold against uh, Mages, and Golden Lightning Fortification against people who just like spamming Honed Bolt and Lightning Spear. So, that's, that's about it. Let us get into duels. Let us try this build out. I don't think it's really powerful or anything but it's 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 extremely fun so the power comes for from well from wrath of gold which is non-lightning spell and from home bolt and lightning strike which are base you can incorporate incorporate them into every build well almost every build into every incantation build that runs at least like 60 or 70 fate you could even use it in like i'm even using it in my uh, in my fundamentalist build however i'm not using lightning strike there's no real need for it also you you might realize that this time i am not leaving my sound dying there down there I'm actually summoning people, or at least trying to summon people. That's because, like, just an hour ago, I left my sound sign down there, and I spawned in enemy's world as they were popping their great rune. And it was Morgoth's rune, and they had, like, 3k health. It was so annoying. I even managed to win, but... It was so annoying, I do not want to do it again. I'm sick of people popping hey. their runes all the time. So, Rust Iron Clad, let's go. Yeah, this was a mistake. Falling for it again. GG mate. Your biggest weakness is gonna be people with with like bad latency and 
people who spam running attacks like uh, trusting great trusting swords and uh, uh, spears they're just like probably your worst enemy you won't be able to create distance and if latency is bad enough you won't be able to punish with breath of gold or to bait them with, with breath of gold oh my god it's raining again now i'm gonna get an unfair disadvantage yeah let's just let's just kill ourselves we don't want that unfair disadvantage for our enemies or for us A wise man once said, it's better to die a human than to live long enough to see yourself become a monster. I'm gonna become a real monster when I start <laughs> abusing Bishop Sling and Hone Bolt combos. It's another halberd. Oh, this guy is rushing me. Okay. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna trade. Nope, we're not gonna trade. He ain't stupid. Uh, might take a hit. Nope. Yeah, just switched to Robustness Talisman. I don't wanna get. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What is this? Is he gonna bleed me out? Yeah, if he hit me now, he would probably bleed me out and get me into a real bad position. Okay. Yeah, goodbye. Oh my god, that wasn't in range. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this guy was trying. Like, he wasn't really bad. He wasn't bad at all. But yeah, that's... That's what happens when you... Rely on... On gimmicks. Like, if he kept chasing after me... With his spear, he would probably kill me. He would win this for sure, I think. Because that, that's, that's the biggest weakness, like not allowing me, not giving me any room to breathe. Not giving me time to reset and to bait you into Breath of Gold or Forty Success Lightning Spear or to cast my ranged spells without you punishing me. Hey! No, what's this? Oh, it's the, it's a dex build with like with, oh no he's gonna he's going for lightning yeah he's going for lightning oh my god is he lagging really that bad oh yeah oh go buff yourself <laughs> I love the barrier of gold yeah, let's go bro let's go bro. Nice roll catch. Okay, you're gonna. Sp okay, and oh my God, yeah, he didn't hit him. I want to create some distance to refill my mana. You gonna throw it again? No. You should. Sure yeah. <laughs> Mine is faster. No point to to use that weapon art if you're going for for fate. 
if you can use lightning spear like it's so much faster and it does like the same damage Still haven't used Lance X as yet. Also haven't oh, I had changed my talisman. Oh god, I love the passion on this guy. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh my god, this guy got roasted, literally. And yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is that for Flask, I'm using Lightning Damage Bonus and Tears of Denial. What's this? Is this a Moon Veil? Yeah. Unfortunately, not getting a moon veil. Ooh, double, double guardian spears. I haven't seen that ever. I wonder if this guy knows what he's doing. I hope he does. going in oh my goodness yeah I haven't changed my talisman oh my god oh my god yeah this guy knows what he's doing but the latency though yeah I'm not sure if it's the latency or if Raya Lucaria is killing the FPS or lagging the game or something. But yeah, lately, like, I, it, it seems like every duel here is like that everyone is lagging. And unfortunately, I'm not able to check my FPS rate because when I do, my my game completely bugs out and my controller disables which really makes no sense hey i wonder if this guy is going to spam like the rust attack Or uh, his frost. Wow! <laughs> yeah, you better run, you little bitch. Got hit by one spell and you're running away. Because I'm not mage and because you applied the wrong buff. You little pussy. Yeah. I didn't even change my talisman. Yeah, I keep forgetting about my talismans. Oh, this guy again, I want to fight him again. I want another chance. I want another chance. Hell yeah.
Let's go, Tree Guardian. Nice. He's gonna play it. And he's not gonna die. Oh, he's gonna... Wow, amazing, amazing. This guy deserves a bow. And yeah, this spell is like... One of my favorite spells. The goddamn 40 sucks lightning spears. So amazing. It looks cool. It is great. And it sounds great. But yeah, the reason he died is because... Like... After the initial hit... As you can see, it produces like... A shockwave in cross pattern that travels along the battlefield and unfortunately he got hit by both shock waves which is probably because he never played against anyone using this spell <laughs> like i have played this game for so long i have seen so many builds but I haven't seen a single person use 40 success lightning spear. Ever. I think... I'm, I'm not sure if it's due to like a, a recent buff. Or what, but this spell is just, just amazing. It's not broken or anything. It's not unbalanced. It, it's just strong. Oh... Okay, are those sleep swords? No. <laughs> oh yes, they are the sleep swords. Oh, see, this guy knows how to dodge this spell. Unfortunately, he don't, doesn't know how to dodge this. Oh my god, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. And I'm gonna hit you again. Yeah. Oh my god, the shockwave. Yeah, this guy was pretty aggressive. I was afraid I'm gonna, like, miss Wrath of Gold and that he's gonna sleep me. It's much easier to, to dodge and punish Wrath of Gold than 40 success lightning spear. What did, did I really summon a guy with a with a great sword and a small shield? <laughs> That's like the worst combination is this game. <laughs> What's this? A Dark Souls one? Yeah, gonna be really ironic if this guy kills me. <laughs> yeah, let's go, dude. Let's go. What's wrong? What's wrong, dude? What the hell? Yeah, how about you go home? I've got no time for this. Really no time. Why the hell do you even leave your sign here if you want to ru just run away and not duel? Like, what's the point? I don't get it. Hey! Yo, this guy's running the meta. Halberd and Rapier. Ooh. 
Wow, how the hell did that hit? Oh my goodness, the bleed. Holy damn, bleed in one hit. Uh, we want this. Sorry for leaving the arena. I'm gonna take this one as well. Yeah. Let's see if we bleed out now. Oh my god, and it just started raining. Eh, that doesn't really matter. Good game, dude. Gotta respect the the crossbow, though. But yeah, as you can see, like the stalwart pawn charm is just amazingly strong. It came, like, from him bleeding me in two hits to him not ble being able to bleed me at all. And, of course, invigorating white cured meat is also amazingly strong. Is this guy... Oh, my God. Is the Bloodhound Step guy with the Bloodhound Step weapon. The original one. What did I summon? What have I summoned? Hey! Yeah, I know, let's try. Uh, I guess he's also running for bleed. But yeah, I've still got the, the rain, which I forgot to turn off. Oh my god. What? He's running quick step. Oh my god. Respect for this guy. Only respect for this guy. Oh, nice. Oh. Not in time. This guy is gonna kill me. Oh my god, wrong spell. Wrong spell, oh my goodness. Thought it was, it was out of gold. Yep. Yeah. I'm dead. I'm dead. GG. GG. Nice. Oh, that Lance Axis Glade. Look, it, it was the first time I used it and it costed me my life. You know what, you should just, like, if you are watching up to this point, you should just remove Lance Axe's Glaive from, from your spell list. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. And just gonna use, like, what? I'm gonna use what? Mm. Like, I, I don't think there's anything worth using... Like, maybe the, the Holy Protection buff, yeah, maybe. Wait, what, what about Rejection? Is it like... Is it faster than... That's the wrong spell. Oh, it's the same speed, but probably just lower damage. It's okay, Rejection is not on the menu. Let's just go for for holy protection if we ever find ourselves against against dual cipher swords or maybe someone will one day run my my golden order fundamentalist build and duel me here that would make me so proud 
let's try to get this guy before we wrap it up. and a halberd he's buffing it with what is this dark souls 3 okay oh my god how did this not hit come on breath of gold no not in range raining again i didn't even realize they're probably raining still but yeah that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and i guess i'll see you in the next one when i'm going to make a preview of my frost sorcerer build so that's about it thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one